Hi there, my name is Cam and welcome to another episode of Salesforce Marketing Cloud Functions in 5 Minutes. Today I'm going to cover the 8M script math functions, showing you how each of them work so that you can learn how to implement them in your cloud pages and emails. So let's start things off with the basic math functions. That's add, subtract, divide and multiply. Each of these functions is really simple and they do exactly what they say they do. They provide the ability to add, subtract, divide and multiply numbers. Each function has a very similar syntax and requires two values to be provided. Now in the case of add and multiply, it doesn't matter what order you put those values in because that's how math works. However, for the subtract and divide functions, the order matters. The easiest way to remember how to use this function is like this. Value 1, function value 2. So for example, value 1, subtract value 2, or value 1, divided by value 2. So here are some examples of these functions in practice. And like many of the functions in AmScript, you can use these functions in an inline AmScript statement to output the result. And you can also set the output as a variable in an AmScript code block. Now let's cover the two math functions for formatting. The format currency function will format a given number to a localized currency format based on the provided ISO culture code. Now the function uses the ISO 4217 codes, such as the ENUS and ENAU codes, and I've gone ahead and tested the full list of these ISO codes, and as you can see, they all provide very different outputs. I've put a link to my code resources in the video description below if you want to take a look and try it out for yourself. Now the third value in this function is optional and it can be used to specify the number of decimal places for rounding purposes. And the fourth value in the function is also optional and it can be used to replace the default currency symbol. In this example I've put two at symbols to showcase what happens when you replace the dollar sign in the ENAU ISO code. The format number function works in a similar way to the format currency function in that it will format a number given the localization code, giving you the ability to output different number formats such as the exponential and percent formats. And here's a few examples of what formats you can use in the format number function. The random math function in AmScript lets you specify a low and high number and then Marketing Cloud will give you a random number that is between and inclusive of those two numbers. So for example, giving the values 1 and 100 will output a random number with a minimum of 1 and a maximum of 100. And finally, the mod function, which is definitely the math function that I use the most. So the mod function stands for modulo, which in mathematical terms means returns the remainder, or what's left over, after dividing one number by another. So for example, if I divided 10 by 3, then the modulus of this operation is 1, because 3 is divided into 10 three times with 1 left over. We can write this in script as mod 10, 3. And when we run this function, we can get the output of 1. Now I really like this function because it has some great applications in process loops. For example, you can use the mod function to count odd and even rows so that you can color them differently in your emails or cloud pages. In fact, one of the best ways to learn about the mod function and process loops is to try the FizzBuzz challenge. Now, the FizzBuzz challenge is frequently used as an interview question. And in fact, I myself have used it many times. As the way you approach solving it can tell a recruiting manager a lot about your code development style and skill. Now I've put a link to the code challenge in the video description below if you'd like to give this code challenge a go. So there you have it, eight math functions in AmScript in under five minutes. Hopefully some of these explanations and code examples I've gone through today have helped you. And if it has, then please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below if you were able to solve the FizzBuzz challenge. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.